else I love, Pom? I love Mark Pitonet. So, Pitto's played 59 games. He's born the 3rd of June, 1996. Five career goals. <laughs> we didn't quite see one in 2023. Uh, you explained this to me fa in a really fascinating way on the phone recently. Um, he is the better Ruckman in the Ruck contest. And he and Tom complement each other so well with what their strengths are, which is really why I think we have this conversation around who's the number one Ruckman seemingly every second week on the show. It, it, it's horrible, isn't it? Because if you actually like condense it to just his Ruck work, it's amazing. But then it's like after the Ruck contest, you might as well just grab someone from the cheer squad to play on the ground and it would have the same output. To be honest, it, it, it's definitely a fitness thing with Pitonet and you saw that in a way, his lack of fitness last year probably made TDK a better footballer because maybe TDK's known that Pitonet's going to take the harder rook contest and TDK started to really dominate and help him out. There's still a part to play, though, with Pena. His ability to win the hitouts is amazing, and it's definitely a fitness thing, because I've been to a lot of training sessions with you, Terry, and it was real nice to watch him at training when we went, just continually do laps. He did look fit. He looked toned, and there's no yeah. doubt about it. If we can just unlock his work around the ground, we know what TDK can do around the ground. We know Voss is set on a two-rook system, whether we like it or not. That is, Voss has mentioned it many a time. He's a two-rook man. So we need Pitonet to be fit and firing, and there's no doubt about it. He gets first use, but we can't, we're probably too good now to hide a player not doing anything around the ground. And at times last year, mm. he was he was almost barbaric, wasn't it? Let's be honest. To be nice, it was a piss take at times. I think doing the ratings with you in that last... Because he missed... He got, I think he got hurt in the Gold Coast game and then we didn't see him until Collingwood round 20. And there was just a noticeable <laughs> difference in his heat map. We were doing the ratings and the heat map was literally the centre circle and that was it. Uh, <laughs> God bless him. Yeah, but like he's got the attributes to be a better mark around the ground. I don't understand how... The, I don't see how that can't improve. I don't see this as the peak of his career and for whatever reason I feel like that gets lost in the conversation like he is a hard-working ruckman he's strong he's got this really good gift in the ruck contest I feel like you can learn he doesn't need to be a star around the ground but he just needs to be a little bit more than what he is now which I don't think it's out of the question for him to to do in 2024. Yeah, I think if you go back to 2022 before he had another niggle after the Fremantle game, yeah. you look at that, that's probably the pit and out that we signed because you look at his 2021, it was pretty solid as well. Yes, it was. It was that, he, he was he was he was being that extra option up forward. He was sliding down behind the ball and also worth noting that Clarkson loved this guy at Hawthorne. Mm -hmm. Like was a huge rap on him. So it's definitely injury and fitness issues it has to be and there's no way last year it was really obvious particularly that Melbourne game which is is, is the one that looked like I just chucked a dart on the heat map and there was like one solitary flop like do you know what I mean like there was the kid with the bongos in the cheer squad who touched the ball more than Pitonet and he played like 78% of the game is quite a concern but we have seen it from him and there's no doubt for me that Pitonet, we saw it in 2021 particularly, it was that emergency option slotting forward and he annoyed people. And it has to be stated, we did come to his defence in the ratings. There's times Carlton do deploy him and he doesn't do anything, but he does take people out of the game because yeah. he's a huge unit. Like Pitonet, he, he ate his steak and veggies as a kid. So I'm he's another player, C. Durden. I think Carlton fans have, not taking him for granted, forgotten about him, just because of where he is. He looks super fit, and I hate saying that, but he looks super good. If he can get good and get really right, 
I feel like he could be the missing jigsaw piece at times. For sure. I mean, I'll, his 2023 season, he took three marks on four occasions in a single game. And I, I think we can see five, those numbers become five in a game on multiple occasions. I, I just think he's got it in him. I think he's got it in him. Um, I think, I don't actually know exactly what the injury that he had that he was carrying. It was leg-related, knee by the end of the season, he was strapped up in a way that is clearly not a. Um, it, 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 it was clearly hindering him and his ability to move around the ground. So, yeah, I mean, for the most part, it's just about doing that full preseason and, and and getting into the season, you know, without any niggles because he just he plays such a brutal game. He's he's at a heightened risk of hurting himself every year. Yeah, it's a fair call, like. He, we know what he can do, and it's like some people like don't like the hit out to advantage stat. Rowdy, rowdy, rah. I don't really care. The facts are facts, right? Mm -hmm. a BNF winner at Box Hill Hawks, right? Yep. Very good. We know he's best. It gives count and first use. The big issue was is he was getting a bit laughable last year that he'd win it, and then we didn't see him. Do you know what I mean? Which he can't do, and that's what we were complaining about TDK. If people remember at the start last year, he's doing stuff around the ground. He's rook work. He isn't dominating. Once he added that layer and he started taking the Michaela out of players like Max Gorn and stuff, we started to love TDK, and we're like, wow, this is the TDK we bought. There's no doubt in my mind if Pernet can hit that straps and then TDK keeps it up and goes up another level, which I think there's a few levels CDK can go up. You only have to look at Luke Jackson and Darcy when they get it right. Having that guy that can beat one person up yeah. and then outrun you, even though their midfield is is pants, isn't it? Let's be honest, compared to Cowan's. You see how they can stay in the game and control it. I think Pitonet, let's hope he stays right because there's no doubt he's incredibly talented. He's an incredibly talented guy. He needs that. to get it right. He's a man I want to go to war with. I want him side by side in the trenches because he loves it. So, yeah, that's Pitto. You guys watching at home, how do you watch? How do you watch Mark Pitt in it? And, and how do you feel about him going into season 2024? <laughs>